Tidal Wave Brazil. Hello everybody, my name is Tidal Wave, and uh, welcome to a new video, and just, and you guys are probably wondering, why am I here at home? Uh, you guys might can't tell it to my voice that I've been sick for three and a half, like three and a half days. And, uh, yesterday was my birthday, so I can upload any videos. Um, but yeah, I've been sick, so, and I, like this was, this morning my body wasn't feeling really good, and right here, um, it was hurting a lot, so, uh, my parents just told me if I wanted to stay home, and I just accepted it, so, I've home, I'm still, I've been home since I was six, so, yeah. I never went to school today. Uh, but today is going to be a top 10 favorite legendary Pokemon boy. Oh, wait. Yeah. Um. Sorry about that. Guys, I'm hungry. Alright, alright. So, number 10. Hmm. I'm going to have to get number 10 to. Palkia, because, um, Palkia <coughs> is, I want to say, the legend is of time, yeah, time, yeah, I'm pretty sure it was a time or it's a day or I'm sorry, guys, I'm just gonna, Palkia, he's, uh, one of the four members of, well, one of the three members of the legendaries for Pokemon Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum. Arceus, the first ever Pokemon to be created, which will be here sometime in the list, probably. Uh, he needed 30 people to protect the w world, pretty much. So one of those was Palkia and Dialga. And there's another world, and Garantina protects that word, world. Uh, so, yeah, Palkia has just been one of my favorite Pokemon, especially in Pearl. I never played the game, but I had a dream of me playing the game, and I actually like Palkia really much because it was a dragon water, which is actually a type, I think it's the first ever time I've seen a dragon water, might have, maybe a dragon eyes, a dragon water, I have no clue. But yeah, Palkia was a very cool Pokemon. And uh, yeah, that's why it's made it to number 10. Number 9. Number 9, guys, it's gonna be easy. I'll give you guys 3 seconds. 1, 2, 3, okay. Mewtwo, boys. I think the, the strongest Pokemon you can get. Mewtwo. Um, the reason why it's number 9, you're like. But Mewtwo is the strongest Pokemon ever. You dummy. Well, I don't know. Mewtwo, since it's so overpowered, I'm like, I, I do not like to use this because I like getting Pokemon to the same, but like if you have a level 50s and you just capture a Mewtwo with a mask ball, it's going to be level 80. So. That's a reason why I don't like Mewtwo, and another reason is, when you first get it, it sucks. You're going to have to use TMs, you work your butt off, just to be able to give Mewtwo moves. Because it can only, like, it might have Psycho Cut and stuff like that. It's only move is usually Swift or something, which is terrible. Um, but that's why I don't like Mewtwo. Like, hard TMs you've been getting for working your butt off for the Pokemon games, and you have to waste them on a stinking Mewtwo just to be able to use it. Frick Mewtwo. Uh, number eight, Arceus, please. I don't know why it's the first ever Pokemon, so that it just deserves to be the first ever Pokemon. It was actually an egg. There was only. There was only one egg in the universe, and that was Arceus. Arceus hatched and made a dimension. It made the world in Pokemon. It made Pokemon and humans. 
so that's why Arceus is number eight. Number seven. Dialga. Don't know why I just like Dialga, so. Go like Dialga, boy! <laughs> oh, God, we threw it. Uh, number six. It's gonna be the overpowered Volcano. Volcano on the new legendary. Which I think the movie's actually out for that. Yeah, the movie's out because I saw a Japanese version of it. And if you guys do want to see that Pokemon, uh, go look out Movie 19. Uh, there's a Japanese version out of it. So if you're a Japanese person, that would totally work out for you. But if you're an English person, it's going to suck because I had to go one and a half. Had to watch a one and a half hour video. Um, well, a movie of Japanese, so which I thought was kind of cool. It was better than the English. What are you doing, English? I'm just kidding. It was cool though. Uh, number five is gonna be the BA Pokemon Mew. Don't judge me, just like Mew. Number four is gonna be. It's gonna be. Number four, let's go with it, Zapdos. Zapdos is one of my favorite legendaries, just because Team Instincts. I don't know why. Number two, uh, I don't know. Okay, let's give it. Number two, Groudon, you deserve it. Uh, Groudon, just because, I don't know why. If you guys didn't know, I'm a huge, huge, huge fan of uh, Hoenn. And you guys might know that, uh, but Groudon's just one of the best legendaries I've ever seen in my life. You know, it's them huge bullies, and Umbar Vun would be Genesect. I don't know why Genesect is number one, because it's like a tanky robot, guys. It's like, oh yeah, bring it on up. <laughs> it's just a cool little, it's a cool fucking Pokemon, and uh, I think it's and it's pretty decent in attack. I want to say I can't remember. I've never used a Genesect before, or seen the stats of a Genesect, but I have seen one and I freaking love it. Well, if you guys did enjoy, if you guys did enjoy today's episode and you guys want to see more, please click that like button. Please click that like button. Subscribe. Comment, follow us on Facebook, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye! Subscribe and like us on Facebook.